The training was one of UOT's community roles to bring back knowledge to the villages and supply information to the rural majority. According to the researches done by the university's agriculture department, they have identified financial burden on rural farmers in terms of buying stock feed for the livestock and the transportation cost. This has made them to pass on knowledge for free so that farmers can make their own stock feeds at a cheaper cost. Our whole university and the agriculture department and all the state departments there, we want to go out to the villages. Uh, to bring the information down. Unless and until we get our village people uh, developed, we may not be talking about Papua New Guinea. Anglim South Wagi Fish Farmers Cooperative Society wrote to Unitech requesting their expertise. More than 100 local farmers in the electorate graduated with certificates from Unitech after the week-long training. Come down local community level now, conduct them all training, Line him all out by only sustain him all yet. Come up, farmer, or lo look out him or something or animal. Now live him this little life, lo community. Me look him and really, and me, me touch him and really sense him all. So. Locals were taught to make stock feed from cow cow and tapioca for the piggery poultry, fish, cow and duck farms. Women were also taught to make decorations using material and floriculture. And help me belong school fee, and help me belong change in community, and help me belong legally or future from people and people live, surviving life from people on the ground. The District Development Authority pledges their support to continue to fund more of such trainings to keep the youths out of trouble and families busy earning a living. Uh, try and help, uh, step in to help them uh, facilitate the training uh, so that we will help our people. So this is very good training. I think we need more of this training in the province and the districts. Vastanata Yama, National MTV News, Mount Hagen.